Yo, what's good? It's Ridis, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all boys the ultimate dribble guide to Hoops Life. A lot of people have been asking me to make a dribble tutorial, so here it is. I've recently made a um, how to do glitchy dribble tutorial recently. It will be the first link in the description below if you guys wanna watch that. But in today's video, I will literally be teaching you guys how to do every single dribble move in this game, or almost every single dribble move in this game. But before we get into the video, can y'all guys please, please, please like the video and subscribe to the channel? You guys don't have to subscribe, but please like the video. Literally liking this video and supporting me is literally free free it costs you no money to literally support me but for this video can you guys please get this video to 250 likes that is my light goal for this video i do be putting in lots and lots of work for these videos and you guys literally don't understand my last previous videos you got that to 450 likes so that is really crazy i appreciate the support recently and i love y'all boys but make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel you guys don't have to subscribe but at least like the video it is literally free but without further ado man let's get inside the video so first i'm be going to the basic simple moves that everybody that plays hoops life should already know this is going to be a keyboard and controller tutorial so after i do the controller move i'm going to be showing you guys the keyboard moves as well first move if you guys want to learn how to switch balls from different hands literally just press circle on the controller very simple so all you guys want to do is keep pressing circle and it literally just switch the balls from different hands like this next move you guys want to learn how to cross over i do use my d-pad to dribble you guys can use your right stick but only in park and stage so i do recommend dribbling with d-pad it's not even that much harder than right stick to be honest it just takes a little bit more time to learn so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to dribble with d-pad so if the ball's in the right hand just press left on d-pad boom and it makes you cross over the ball's in the left hand press right on d-pad so boom just like this bam 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 very simple move that is like everybody should know that so now you guys got that in your bag ball in left hand right d-pad ball in right hand left d-pad now what you guys want to learn is the curry slide all you guys want to do is press left on d-pad and down on d-pad boom like that it's kind of like in the same motion but not really at the same exact time so the ball's in the right hand right on d-pad down on d-pad like that and boom boom now you're curry sliding simple as that bro not a hard move to do at all next move you guys want to learn how to do is the step back very simple you guys just want to press down on d-pad makes you go back like that boom if you guys want to do the between the legs step back very simple just double click down d-pad boom just like that next move is the spin move a lot of people might have trouble with this on controller and on keyboard so i'm going to show you guys how to do that here so the ball's in the right hand just press right on d-pad down on d-pad and left on d-pad kind of at the same time not literally at the same exact time so i don't know you guys have to do it in the same motion so boom it's going to look like that boom boom so if the ball's in the left hand you want to do left on d-pad down on d-pad and right on d-pad kind of at the same time i don't really know how to explain it bro you guys will have to figure it out it's very simple bro very very not very simple i'm not gonna lie this is kind of one of the harder moves to learn but once you guys learn it bro literally just practice it I, I do recommend just keep practicing this move until you get it down packed it won't take more than fucking 20 minutes to learn so yeah just make sure you guys get this move down so now what you guys want to learn you guys want to learn how to do the fake behind the back i think that's what it's called i really don't know so all you guys want to do with the balls on the left hand just double click the lefty pass let's go like this i don't use this move at all i don't really feel like it's effective um i mean i guess you can combo together or whatever but i don't use this move whatsoever but yeah i'm just showing you guys all the moves in the game so if the ball's in the right hand just double click right deep pad and it'll make you guys do this so boom i don't use this move at all by the way but you guys can if you guys want to and that's i'm gonna be showing you guys how to half spin the only way you guys can do half spin is if you're in stage on controller that's the only way so if you guys do half spin you guys want to press up on d-pad it does not work in my it doesn't work in my park or it doesn't work in my court i don't know why it is literally just so weird so what the half spin looks like i'm gonna be showing you guys it on keyboard i'm not gonna be showing you guys how to do it on keyboard but i'm just gonna be showing you guys what to expect when you half spin so it's gonna look like this it looks kind of glitch so yeah it's gonna look like that so boom it's gonna look like that so guys once you guys press up on d-pad in stage it will make you do that half spin i just showed you right there last one i'm gonna show you guys is the post move is very simple hold l2 or lt whatever you guys are on hold l2 and just let go of l2 and move the direction you guys want to go let me explain that better hold l2 and once you guys are ready to move the direction just let go l2 and boom it's gonna make you do that so make sure you guys are moving while doing these moves make sure you guys are moving i'm gonna be showing you guys combos as well so for the first move for advanced moves is the post spin glitch a lot of people use this in park or in stage or wherever you're at so you guys probably see a lot of people doing this right here literally it's very simple so all you guys want to do to do this l2 r2 and circle at the same time you guys want to spam press it though so make sure y'all are pressing l2 r2 and circle at the same time while doing this move just keep spamming it bro and it's gonna look like this i promise make sure you guys practice this move take your time to learn this move before you move on to the next step all right guys now we're gonna move into the combos or advanced combos so you guys learn how to do the post spin very simple now you guys want to add on to a combo to it what i mean by combo i say do a spin and then hit the post spin like this so it's gonna look very glitchy so post spin you guys don't have to do it every time but post spin 
behind the back curry slot whatever you guys want make sure you combo that up so usually what i do i do a spin into the post spin so it looks very glitchy then i post spin again and then i do another spin out of it and then sometimes i do a behind the back then i post spin then i do a spin post spin it's very simple so everything that i do has to do with a post spin so i do recommend you guys learning how to do the post spin make sure you guys master the post spin before you try to do these moves all right guys so starting off i'm pretty sure the ball starts off in the left hand so if the ball is in your left hand i usually start off with a curry slide and i go into a post spin and i do another curry slide go into another post spin and i go out for a three boom that's a shot all right guys, so another moving combo you guys can learn it's literally like this so i usually just bait people into thinking i'm about to drive boom you know spin post spin whatever drive and i go out to the three crossover boom so when i do that they're going to think i'm about to shoot a three right so they usually jump or not prepare for me to blow past them literally all i'm doing i drive i fake drive in and then i instantly sprint out do i do a crossover boom so the ball's in the left hand when i run out i just press right on my d-pad and it makes me do this so boom so i'm just running bam bam so yeah very simple bait your opponent that's just something to add to your bag bro just something just like little shit like that bro can get you open so much in this game bro it's crazy but yeah that's all i got for you guys for controller um really guys just practice controller bro and you guys will be able to get as good as me or get as good as anybody else that's good at this video game bro literally just practice and put your own combos together i showed you guys as much as i can or explained it to you guys as much as i can but yeah time to move on to the keyboard removes first thing first to switch balls from different hands just press h on your keyboard and you'll switch balls like this or switch hands like this very simple to do the crossover the balls in the right hand press z on your keyboard the balls in the left hand press c on your keyboard so it's gonna look like this very 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 simple next you guys want to learn how to curry slide curry slide is z and x if the balls in the left hand press z and x so like this if the balls in the right hand press c and x so like this very simple very simple curry slide boom to do a step back all you guys want to do is press x boom looks like this very simple if you guys want to do a between the legs step back double tap x simple like that this move does have a cooldown so you guys can't spam it so you guys have to do it with like three seconds and do it again or two seconds so next to spin if the ball's in the left hand press z x and c the ball's in the right hand press c x and z very simple this move is actually hard as hell i remember my first time trying to learn how to do this move and i literally could not do it but this move might take you guys a little bit of time to learn it is very 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 difficult at first when you're doing it but yeah you guys will learn how to do it and once you guys learn how to do it bro you will be untoppable next move is next move is the half spin the half spin is kind of hard so if the ball's in the right hand you guys want to press c x and c so it's like you're going back and forth so c x and c so it's gonna look like that i kind of have trouble doing it not really not no more but this move i could not do this move so c x and c if the ball's in the right hand the ball's in the left hand you guys want to press z x and c so yeah guys it's gonna like this i still kind of have trouble doing it but it's gonna like this i do do all this with one hand so yeah you guys can use two hands two fingers to do it so like look i literally have so much trouble doing it so yeah it's gonna like this make sure you guys learn how to do the spin and half spin before you continue to move on to the more advanced drill moves make sure you guys learn this and make sure you guys learn this right here or this right here next we're going to move on to the post spin very simple all you guys going to do is hold g and move and let go of g whichever way you want to spin so very simple OG, let go g make sure you guys move while you're doing these drill moves guys make sure you guys are moving and to do this little fake uh behind the back thing just press double tap z if the ball's in the left hand just double tap z if the ball's in the right hand just double tap z boom a little simple very simple all right guys now we're going to be moving on to the more advanced dribbles and advanced combos so first we're going to start with the glitchy post spin so it's very simple all you guys can do is press g and h you guys want to have both hands on your keyboard while doing this i do recommend playing with both hands both hands on your keyboard while playing on keyboard uh, that's what i do recommend so you can do the moves way easier so first you guys want to make sure you guys are holding shift or you guys don't really have to hold shift but make sure you guys are holding shift and make sure you guys press g and h at the same time just just spam it bro it's gonna look like this to spam and move back and forth bro to do doing this on controller is way better but yeah that's literally that's literally the glitch guys make sure you guys are moving back and forth make sure you guys are moving side to side in order to do it. it's gonna look like this make sure you guys are spamming it like this this is how you do the glitchy post spin on keyboard all right guys so what i do when i'm on keyboard is i don't really play keyboard that much i do main controller now i used to main keyboard but my, my main is controller what i usually do after i do a post spin i usually spin spin then i go into a post spin like that hold on, let me do it better 
post spin and I go into a spin move like that. Let me get my stamina. Holy fuck. So what I usually do, I do the post spin move and then I go into a spin. So after I do a post spin move, I go into a spin like this. And I'm always moving too, but I never stand still while you guys are doing this move. It will literally not get you anywhere. Um, I do run out of stamina very quick on keyboard. I don't really know how to stamina concern when I'm on keyboard because a lot of stuff on keyboard takes dribble move, which is I'm not the best at keyboard, but I do like to dribble a lot when I'm on keyboard. So that's why I run out of stamina so quick. So yeah, guys, um, this is what I do. I just spin, post spin, and then I go off for a three. Something like that. I'm not that good on keyboard, but I'm just showing you guys how to dribble and do some combos. A lot of these combos you guys are going to have to learn on you guys' own. Now it's time for you guys to use these moves as best as you possibly can. I can't really show you guys anything else. And I'm kind of really tired of making this video because this is my second time recording this whole entire video. So I've been recording for hours. So I'm kind of getting annoyed. But yeah, guys, that's really the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did the video. If you guys did and if this video helps you guys out, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. If you guys need any help with dribbling, let me know in the comment section below. And hopefully I can respond to you guys, guys in the comments. But yeah, make sure you guys like the video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Literally liking the video is completely free. But yeah, that's really the video.